morning I've been out and about and as you saw I've just came across that little style which isn't really working. I've actually been not well for the last week. As you can hear I've still got a bit of the flu. And I've not really had a chance to put anything up. And my phone's just rang. Really, the thing is that because I've been ill and I haven't been able to post uh, too much in this last little last two weeks I haven't been able to post much and I haven't been able to do any metal detecting I thought I better post something something for you to see and uh, yeah I thought I'd do a little post on my kind of daily life and my, my new project can't tell you what it is but I can show you what I do kind of hopefully so I'm walking across this uh, I'm walking across this little lake being hit by leaves. Walking across this dam on this little lake. And it is a lake, it's man-made. So whoops! Falling on my bottom. And I'm just going to check the, the water level. I hope you don't mind that I'm not doing any metal detecting. I'll try and put some in at some point. Yeah, I'm on a little island between uh, one side and the other of the lake. It's quite nice. Very picturesque, very picturesque. So I'll show you bits and bobs of what I do, hopefully. This is the lake. Over here, one side and I'll try and keep you entertained had a lot of bother this week as well just not being well and having to deal with government departments as well but never mind we won't go into that so I've got to go and check the water level on the other side beautiful trees in here beautiful trees really old trees and mushrooms and swans and ducks and I believe there's some uh, pike pike in the lake so we'll go and see the dam if I can find it I think it's through here. I'll try not to fall over. Maybe over here. Yeah, because I'm not able to detect, I just thought I'd better show you some well, take you on a journey, really. Little journey of my working day. Hopefully, I can find this dam. I think I've came the wrong way, <laughs> to be honest. But yeah, uh, I hope you enjoy the little trip through the woods, etc. Maybe say, why is he taking us through this? But anyway, I think I've came the wrong way. It didn't take me this long before, so never mind. Might be interesting. Oh, I might bump into a little deer or something. There are some really fantastic trees on here. Some fantastic nettles also to drag me. Ouch. Oh. Oh my. There we go. Sorry about that. 
Look at that, it's like a natural fence. Carrying on. Hope you like my little wood. Hmm. I will eventually find the other side of the dam. Could it be through here? Maybe I'll get lost and be here forever more. Oops, a daisy. Hit a tree. It was a good idea at the time. We'll keep going. You never know. Back to this one. This tree. Quite amazing, isn't it? This one. I know you're wondering what it is I actually do for a living. All I do is wander through woods. Anyway, some big mushies. Zooming into the mushies. Another one there. Don't know what they are right enough. But they're big. All over the place, aren't they? Anyway, let's see if we can find anything that resembles the dam. Oh, there we go. <laughs> it's right in front of me all the time. So, yeah, it's lovely. It is lovely in here. Absolutely lovely. So, we're going to see the dam. The dam builder. Here's the dam. You can see we built the dam over there. No, the pipe's covered a little. This pipe down in here. Anyway, let's go and have a look. See if there's any fishes. Look at that loveliness. The silt's pretty thick as well in there. But we had to build this because the water was seeping through this other side from here. That's our access. Alright. It is seeping through down there. So we're still getting seepage. There's a big swan. Over there. Flying in. All right, let's go back through the woods again. It's like the the bayou, the Southern Californian bayou, the way it's all hanging in the water. Beautiful here, absolutely beautiful. Yeah, so this is this is my new ride for this new project, and uh, I've got to gather in a lot of offcuts of trees and stuff. I've got to just clear the area that I'm working in here of all the the offcuts off the trees, making things safe to tidy up the area. So it's another wee aspect of what I'm doing. But yeah, it's a nice vehicle. I'm glad I'm back at work and. Yeah, it's interesting and I love the countryside, so we're doing fine. So I hope, it's, I hope it's not too boring for you what I'm actually doing. And I hope you find it, I really do hope you find it interesting. If it gets boring, let me know. 
I will try and get some metal detecting in as well and yeah it should be quite exciting I find it exciting so hopefully you do as well so I'll see you in a minute there's uh, quite a lot of things in the woods I hope it becomes quite relevant to you and I'll probably put this on a different um, a different set of videos but anyway as I'm out I just thought I'd show you this these are porcelain mushrooms you can tell I think by the slimy coating that's on them that's a porcelain mushroom there's quite a few on the different logs that are lying about that is beautiful that absolutely beautiful get a wee picture of that one it's nice I love being out in the woods I really do you probably can tell that and there's some others over here just little ones forming on the branches on the dead wood as most do there's some puff balls as well but just tiny ones I saw some over here yeah there's one excuse me sniffing there's a puff ball just there something's had a wee munch at it There's another one. I don't know if those ones are edible. This one, I'm not sure what it is. But there's many different mushrooms here. If anybody knows what that one is, let me know. But I think this one is Gigantus Maripolis. I think I've pronounced that. But these are absolutely stunning. And they're all round the tree, these ones. They are superb. Absolutely superb. I mean, just look at the size in comparison to my hand. That is one big mushroom. Or a group of mushrooms. But they're all the way around this tree. Excuse me sniffing. But they are, they're all the way round. I've got a tree branch here that I need to take off. Up there. It's snapped off that top bit. I'll try and get that off. Yeah, we'll have to get the tree surgeon in for that one. Now, have you had these two boys? Have you had these two boys running at you? So yeah, now I've calmed down. It's all good. Let's go and dig.